Good morning. Thank you so much, Brother Ibrahim. The September 11th attacks 20 years ago profoundly affected and shaped our country. Every faith community lost someone, including Muslims, Jews, and Christians. And every faith community felt the uncertainty of what would follow. We mourned and grieved together as Americans. But as the results of the CARES survey today indicate, Muslim communities have continued to pay a heavy price in the aftermath of the attacks 20 years ago. They not only marked a turning point in our government's domestic and foreign policies, particularly when issues related to civil rights, national security, and immigration, they also ushered in an era of scrutiny, of faith-based bullying of Muslim children, of the harassment of members of our communities. Each year, CARES offices around the country receive complaints of Islamophobic incidents, particularly around this anniversary. We're joined here today by one Maryland Muslim father whose daughter experienced one such incident only yesterday. The family tells CARE that on Thursday, September 9th, yesterday around 1 p.m., their daughter Amira was parking her car in front of their home's driveway. A driver pulled up beside her, reportedly staring at her in a hostile, menacing manner while blocking off the road from incoming vehicles. When the daughter, who wears a hijab or the headscarf, lowered her car window, the driver blocking the road called her a terrorist and a hacker, among other racist slurs and insults, including commenting on her skin color and referencing her hijab, her headscarf. The daughter tells Kara that before the driver left the scene, she threatened her that punishment, quote unquote, is coming soon. The family later investigated and discovered the driver apparently lives in their neighborhood, is a neighbor a few blocks away. They reported her to the HOA and to Greenbelt Police, their local police department. The police were not reportedly very helpful. They did not seem to take the complaint seriously, which is another concern that we often hear from community members. The family reports to CARE that they've experienced a pattern of disturbing incidents. Since the summertime, including the alleged damaging of the irrigation system in front of their house, the slashing of their car tires, and nails and screws that have been discovered on their driveway. The intimidation and threats that this family has endured unfortunately mirror the experiences of many American Muslim families who have been confronted by hate and bias as a consequence of the rise of Islamophobia in our country post 9-11, as Brother Nahad mentioned. CARE applauds this family's courage in coming forward and speaking out and sharing their story. And strongly, we condemn the threats, the slurs, and the pattern of alleged harassment. We're calling on the Greenbelt Police to investigate this incident as a bi possible bias motive and help deliver justice for this family to avoid future incidents. It's noteworthy that the daughter who experienced this incident was afraid to come today because she's afraid of retaliation.